Welcome to the 23rd lecture of this lecture series regarding international arbitration practice. In this lecture series, we have been dealing with two kinds of disputes. One is a commercial dispute, the other is a dispute under an investment treaty. In the last few lectures, we have been drafting a notice of arbitration for a commercial dispute. In this lecture and in the next few, we will be dealing with notice invoking arbitration under an investment treaty. Before dealing with a specific dispute, we need to look at the difference between a notice of arbitration and a notice of intent to invoke arbitration. In commercial arbitration, in the absence of pre-arbitral steps or tiers required in the dispute resolution clause, the notice of arbitration is really the first step taken towards resolution of a dispute by arbitration. In investment treaty arbitration, on the other hand, in addition to any pre-arbitral steps such as good faith negotiations, amicable dispute resolution methods, etc., the usual first step is the notice of intent to arbitrate or the notice of dispute. This notice allows the host state to take steps to resolve the issue one way or the other. Thereafter, the notice of arbitration is invoked. Let us see the provisions on dispute resolution in treaties to understand this aspect. We had earlier discussed in detail in our lectures on international investment law the dispute resolution provisions in the India UAE BIT of 2013. You might want to have a look at those lectures to understand this aspect. Link to that lecture is given in the description to this video. The lecture number is lecture 45 and the lecture is titled dispute resolution in BITs. Now let us look at another example. The USA Ecuador uh, BAT of 1993 that is the treaty between the United States of America and the Republic of Ecuador concerning the encouragement and reciprocal protection of investments provides for dispute resolution in article 6. Link to the BIT is provided in the description to the video. Article 6 1 defines an investment dispute to mean a dispute between a party and a national or company of the other party arising out of or relating to a an investment agreement between that party and such national or company b an investment authorization granted by that party's foreign investment authority to such national or company or c an alleged breach of any right conferred or created by this treaty with respect to an investment. Articles 6, 2 and 3 prescribe the procedure for dispute resolution. It contemplates three broad steps. Step 1. It states that the party should first seek to resolve the dispute through consultation and negotiation. Step 2 provides that if the dispute cannot be resolved amicably, the party may choose to submit the dispute to any of the alternatives for dispute resolution. The alternatives provided are to the courts or administrative tribunals of the party that is a party to the dispute or in accordance with any applicable previously agreed dispute settlement procedures or in accordance with the terms of para 3. Now, step 3 is what is provided in para 3. But you must note that these choices provided, that is between the courts, administrative tribunals, then the previously agreed dispute settlement procedures or para 3 are choices that are not to be exercised concurrently. If the injured party did not submit a dispute for resolution to the courts or tribunals of the host state or as per previously agreed dispute resolution procedures for the from the date of the dispute, then the party can refer the matter to the ICSID, that is the International Centre for Settlement of Investment Disputes, 
or the additional facility under the exit procedures or under the unsettled arbitration rules or any other arbitral institution as may be mutually agreed between the parties. Now, Article 6.4 provides that US and Ecuador consent to the submission of any investment dispute for settlement by binding arbitration in accordance with the choice specified in, in the written consent of the national or company under paragraph 3. So, it is a consent that 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 is made even before the dispute arises. In the treaty itself it says and I reiterate US and Ecuador consent to the submission of any investment dispute for settlement by binding arbitration in accordance with such choice specified in the written consent of the national or company. And it also says such consent shall satisfy the requirement of written consent under the exit rules and under the New York Convention. Now there is also another provision article 6 3b. It states that once the national or company concerned has consented to reference of the dispute to exit or additional facility or unsettled arbitration rules, either party to the dispute may initiate arbitration in accordance with the choice so specified in the consent. Then Article 6.5 provides for a New York Convention country as the seat of arbitration in case of non-exit arbitration. But many investment treaties provide for notice of dispute or notice of intent to submit to arbitration to precede the notice of arbitration. Many times the relevant treaties specify the content of such pre-arbitration notice as well. Whether it is a notice of dispute or a notice of intent to submit to arbitration or a notice of arbitration, they contain broadly six aspects. The first aspect is the description of the parties including the claimants and the respondent state. The second aspect is the factual background and in that there would be preliminary aspects relating to aspects through which the investment came to take place then a description of the claimants investments when they were made how they were made etc then the host state's conduct which amounted to the breach of the investment agreement or the treaty that is the third aspect the fourth aspect is the damages that were caused to the claimants or claimant due to the breach of the investment treaty by the host state this is the fourth aspect the fifth aspect is dispute resolution and the sixth aspect is the request for relief take any notice of dispute or notice of arbitration or notice of uh, notice uh, of intent to submit arbitration they contain these six aspects so you must remember these six aspects broadly now the cause for the difference between a notice of dispute and a notice of arbitration lies in the treaties the notice of dispute really commences the process of dispute resolution in the investment treaty and the notice of arbitration invokes arbitration. There is a small but substantial difference between these two. It is possible that between a notice of dispute and a notice of arbitration, there might be a few steps to be taken by the parties or there might be a time lag. For instance, the notice of dispute dated 23-7-2020 submitted by Ascent Resources and Ascent Slovenia Limited to the Republic of Slovenia regarding an investment dispute. The notice is titled Notice of Dispute and was issued to Slovenia on 23-7-2020. In the dispute, interestingly, Ascent Resources sent another notice of dispute dated 5-5-22, that is almost two years after, where it stated 1.4. Together with the notice of dispute, this letter shall be considered as a formal notification of the existence of a dispute under Articles 8, 1 and 2 of the BIT and Articles 26, 1 and 2 of the ECT. ECT is the Energy Charter Treaty. Okay. Then it went on to say, we sincerely hope that an amicable solution can be found to the present dispute and will welcome any constructive proposals that you may have. 
while noting the failure of earlier negotiations with slovenia the investors are ready to re-engage at a senior level with the government of slovenia at the earliest possible opportunity provided that the government of slovenia is prepared to engage in such discussions meaningfully and promptly article 8.1 of the uk slovenia bit provided for a claim to be made by an aggrieved investor to the host state it stated disputes between a national or company of one contracting party and the other contracting party concerning an obligation of the latter under this agreement in relation to an investment of the former which have not been amicably settled shall after a period of 3 months from the written notification of a claim be submitted to international arbitration if the national or company concerned so wishes article 8 2 of the bat states among other things where the dispute is referred to international arbitration the national or company and the contracting party concerned in the dispute may agree to refer the dispute either to the ixid or the additional facility of the ixid or the court of arbitration of the icc that is the international chamber of commerce or an international arbitrator or an ad, ad hoc arbitration under the unsettled arbitration rules then 82 goes on to say if after a period of 3 months from the written notification of the claim there is no agreement on one of the above al- uh, alternative procedures that is between ixid icc and unsettled arbitration rules the dispute shall at the request in writing of the national or company concerned be submitted to arbitration under the arbitration rules of the unsettled the parties to the dispute may agree in writing to modify these rules you may note that in these in this lecture we have seen two kinds of dispute resolution clauses in two investment treaties one was the one was the U- ecuador us uh, uh, ecuador us treaty and the other one is the uk slovenia bit in the uk in the ecuador us treaty what was provided was that the investor had a choice to invoke arbitration in any of the choices provided in the bat whereas here if among the three choices that is between ixid icc and the unsettled there is no agreement then unsettled arbitration rules shall be the default procedure thus the above article contemplates submission to international arbitration after a written notification of claim and the expiry of 3 months from the written notification the function of the written notification of claim is undertaken by the notice of dispute the difference between a notice of dispute and the notice of arbitration here is that a notice of dispute gives scope for amicable settlement while the notice of arbitration come later when such amicable settlement fails we have provided the references to the various instruments and the notices discussed in this lecture and we have provided those in the description to this video